It's been a while. Do I? Don't I? <laughs> Good eye! <laughs> and welcome to today's vlog. <laughs> I am at the Royal Norfolk Showground. Yes, I am here just outside of Norwich. And here you can see, well, first off, we have an event going on right here to my right is the man in the white coat right here now as you can see each contestant is standing there wearing their white coats and here they're, they're just going up to get their awards to see who is the best man in a white coat <laughs> but while whilst we're waiting for that competition to progress i i'm going in here <laughs> we're you will find the finest food and craft stalls. Now, you know, Norfolk showground can be a bit banky, right? Can. Banky people come here. Banky people got big fat wallets. They have. And if you come here, you're going to need one. I'm going to show you how much banky costs. I am. With my first. I literally just come in here, right? I thought, right, right, I've been wondering where and how to start my vlog. And then when I saw how banky this was, I thought this is where I'll start my vlog. So you can buy that. That's a tenner <laughs> for free, whatever they are. And these things are six quid each, something that looks like a Scotch egg, but isn't. You can get three of them for seven, just only three of those for just 17 pounds. That is a bargain price, but moving on to the flapjack store right next door. How much do you think a flapjack would cost at the Royal Norfolk show? At the flapjackery, you can get flapjacks for four pounds 20. Oh wow, or five, five flapjacks for a family outing for 20 pounds. Flapjack Central. <laughs> now Woody, I've left Woody in there with my umbrella. I have. Now I would do a vlog on this stuff. I've got no idea how much it costs. Because <laughs> there ain't no price in it, I, I, on any of it. No prices on any of it. No cost. So they probably come from Bali. Bali's the only place I've ever been in the world where nothing is priced. But we all know why that is. <laughs> so moving on for some fab fudge. I can get a container of fab fudge for just two pounds. For some fab fudge. <laughs> right, this is the, um, perhaps the most expensive food hall I've ever visited anywhere in the world. Anywhere, there's another guy. They've got no prices on any of it. All from Turkey. Because they can't sell the stuff in Turkey. So they ship it here. Oh man. Wow. Pies. <laughs> Traditional pies from three quid. Now that ain't too bad, three pounds. For a pound for a pie that should be a quid. That ain't too bad. That ain't. And you can get homemade scotch egg for £3.50, which again is not too bad for a £2 item. <laughs> it should really be 99p or two for a pound. But you've got pork cracknel. Three quid for a bag of pork fat. Um, oh man, there's so much of this stuff. Is, 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 no, no, no. We did. Yeah, this all come from Turkey. From Turkey. Hello. Hello, from Turkey. Homemade. Homemade. Yeah. Oh, but your your traditional Turkish recipe. Yes. Traditional Turkish. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Um, 
Okay, right, that's enough. I don't know what's going on there. Somebody trying to do a sales pitch on some beer. Right, I'm going to move on and try to find just something of an interest. Just waiting for it to stop raining outside. It's a bit banky, isn't it? Shocking. I've had to turn it back on. The sausage rolls, they look good, look. Lancashire Gourmet sausage roll. <laughs> a fiver. For just, for just a slice? From a sausage roll? Well, that's a slice, darling. That's about a third of the sausage roll. That's a slice. For a fiver. Yeah, a mince. Cost of living prices, you know. Oh, yeah, well, obviously, I have to incur yeah, cost of living, darling, as well. I do. Maybe you should get go to some cheaper events and then you won't have to sell them for four pounds for a mince slice. Maybe you should go to some I do, events. darling, I do. I'll go to Thailand because it's a lot cheaper. Really? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only back here for a little while. Um, I've seen how expensive prices have got, yeah. but this is just going a bit too far. It is, but it, it's up to people if they want to buy them. Well, it is, you're right, yeah. It is. Cheers, darling. I will. That's Sheep shagging. Stuff. Uh, but her fleas would be worth more yeah. valuable because it's finer compared to the Suffolk mules. Um, there was you've been quillatrist. Your, your lips aren't moving. Maybe going for more than a pound a kilo. <laughs> but she's, um, she stands out from the rest of the sheep. It's sheep shagging. Awesome. They're looking a bit scared, look. So here, I'm just been? taking on, got my shoulders in line <laughs> with her back legs. So I'm not excessively <laughs> reaching. There you go. Not, um, they are shared sheep. Reaching, Is that guy it looks like he's probably going to share all them. Shave them. Good looking sheep. A bit of a rough do on there. Oh, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I'd be letting him cut my hair. No. Moving the ball, rolling on the rolling over hips. Nice and comfortable. That's awesome. Rolling back and forth. Right. As soon as you start I'm looking for the umbrella gang. Starts to get really upset. I've got a little bit out of position, so I'm going to suck that. Enjoying it? Ah, bro. Sudden movement, see that? Yeah. You all right? I've got my umbrella for it. Really nice it. Oh, yeah. it. The they got for man, babe. Yeah, really <laughs> After the initial shock of how much things cost at an event, I mean, it's bad enough for the supermarkets, right? But the event, oh, man. Anyway, I've now come out to look some classic old trucks <laughs> and tractors. Look at these. There's some, it's not what I come out for, but I've just seen them. These wicked old, that Ford tractor's worth a lot of money. It is, these little old beauties. They're really good. Oh man, there are loads of them. All these blue and white Fords are all good, good proper money. Very collectible. Oh man, and these kind of tractors, I do see these in junkyards on the side of the street. International tractors, I know where there's one of these derelict on the Isle of Ko Chang. I do. That's worth a fortune. But if you wanted to get them, oh man, there are some really cool old tractors. Which they are, is this stuff buried in Thailand. It really is. I've seen it. I want to see this little old Sedan Atkinson truck, but I want to go and see the steam engine. That's a Mercedes. <laughs> oh, wicked, that one, Sedan Atkinson. That is wicked. That's really cool. That is a proper, proper old truck. That really is. This thing, I want to see. Because my granddad, George King, used to have one of these. Lady Jane, not that one. My granddad had one like that. This old putt putting along. Oh, it's wicked seeing it working. And this where the old belts go. And this, these are what used to drive the old farmyard machinery back in the day. That is wicked. Really good to see. Oh. Sam. 
sound. <laughs> that is the sound of victory. <laughs> that is an awesome bit of machinery. It really is. I might have to get the old camera out. Now what's going on here? Right now, there, there's an enthusiast thing. You get the steam engines, right? And then you get these guys who build. Oh man, they've got all the old oilers. Look at these tins. Well, I sold, I had all these tins, but I've sold all mine. All these old oilers. They're getting all these old belt engines running. It's like a wicked club, look. It is wicked what they do. You all right, darling? Awesome. Proper old traction engines, really well kept and looked after, and demonstrating how old machinery used to work on the farms back in the day. Look at this guy, they are wicked. <laughs> They're really good to see, it's good to see this stuff at the showground. Oh. Nice, and there is a good few more they're really cool there's little oiler down there I love them the old tin plate oilers they're really cool right <laughs> trying to see what else is going on the sun is coming out which is good oh, man I'm starting to wake up I'm still deaf in one ear by the way the infection is gone <laughs> And I'm still deaf, so I strongly believe my left ear is blocked, which makes me feel a bit hazy. Yeah, I do feel a bit hazy. <laughs> and I have got me um, stockbroker's suit on today. I have. Oh man, it is getting sunny. No way. No way. Sun's coming out. What you got on there? <laughs> no, that's just starting. Watch there they go. I am not going on there. No way. We have all the fun of the fair, and I'm probably going to go on the waltzes because that's all I really dare do. <laughs> but whoa. Oh, 
camera issues. Oh man, I've got to look at this plod car. <laughs> this will be on, or will it? Will that take to the streets of the UK? Highly, highly unlikely. Oh man. <laughs> Where's the AK-47? Where's the light machine gun? Oh, so here, job opportunities. Yeah, that daft, police, <laughs> RAF, Royal Air Force. You can sign up to all this. <laughs> if you're that daft, of course. But you know, you could fight sign up for the fire brigade. You do yourself a bit of decency. All the Royal Air Force, if you're that daft. <laughs> Ooh. You can come and sign up. See a little helicopter. <laughs> oh. Okay, I have come across a company called Sunlight Forest, where in fact they do have a large bottle of champagne and they have the ultimate booths. All we need now is two dirty birds. <laughs> they've got the booths, they've got the champagne. <laughs> oh, you could have four, man, four dirty birds in the dirty bird and the champagne booth made by Sunlight Forest. Oh man, you can have a whole family of dirty birds in this booth, but no champagne. Yeah, there is Prosecco, there you go. Get a bit of Prosecco and maybe four dirty birds and you can have a bit of boardroom as well. Or situated in your back garden, the new boardroom right there. It's all available. <laughs> At the Norfolk show. I just almost walked past there. Oh, right, we've got a wood carving. It's like being right back in Bali. Look. Oh, man. And old Matt. I reckon, I reckon he carved these out of lumps of wood. <laughs> what do you reckon he import them from Ubud? <laughs> I don't know. You can see there's loads of rough work on there. I'd want that sanded down a bit better. That is just really rough, look. If he took his time, he probably could have a nicer finish on there. <laughs> you alright buddy? Good, 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 good. Wow! The octopus table. I was going to say... Soon to be installed into a traveller's back garden. Oh man! Oh look at the seats! <laughs> That's what you call a proper bit of upscaling, that is. Proper. <laughs> oh man, right, I lost Woody. Where is he? I lost him. Well, I didn't see the price. No way. <laughs> Two grand. That table, that old bit of wood. That's nine grand. <laughs> Not only is the item absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> no one's ever going to buy it. <laughs> Still, nice exhibition. Oh. <laughs> I have come to the conclusion, as much as I am enjoying being in England, but I live in the real world. I really do. Proper. This is about as banky, the Royal Norfolk Show, is, is what you can get. You don't get much more banky than a Royal Norfolk show. Oh, <laughs> I lost Woody. Where's he gone? Oh man. Really good, the sun's coming out. Hang on. <laughs> Is he in the flower and vegetable show? <laughs> Here, you can see a proper bit of build work. Now guys, if you are watching in Thailand, sure. those yellow... Jack! Oh. Callum! Callum! No way! <laughs> Callum, you're on my YouTube show! That... Hey. Callum, hey. hang on a minute. Can you see a resemblance? Can you? Oh, I bet not. Ask me, <laughs> ask me 
Not me cousin, me nephew. Oh, hello. Me sister's son, little one. Brilliant. Well done. It is. So let me just show you guys, if you are in Thailand and you are watching, you see all these yellow lines? We call them plumb lines. And what they do, they help you keep a nice straight edge, which is really important in this country. By the way, oh man, how are you buddy, are you good? Yeah, not too bad. Good, so you're at Paston, Paston College? Yeah, exactly. City College. Hello Thailand, I hope you're all well. There you go. <laughs> how strange is that Callum? So you're, Callum, you're at college, wow. learning to be a bricky. You are, wow. that's really good. How's your mum? She's all right. She's all right. Where's she work? As a dental. dental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really weird seeing a member of your family when you're at work. Cool. Awesome. Oh, really good. Oh, good. Seeing a family member. That's really good. Now we are at the British Association of Shooting and Con Conservation, and it's this what drew me in. These moose horns. Oh, look at them, man. They're really cool. Nice bit of scar. <laughs> Deer seasons. Well, they have got a bit of a bit of taxidermy. There is a magpie right there. That is really nice. Oh man. <laughs> that is your raven. And where did I see a magpie? I did see a magpie. Magpie? That's a magpie. It is. We've got a little Dave in there as well. Oh, Dave. Yeah. Dave the duck. Let's it's, it's, it's show you Dave the duck. Ah, uh, oh, right there, look. That's really cool. Oh, cheers, buddy. Thank you. That's really cool. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. That is a cool place everything and anything at this show where's he gone <laughs> where's bagman gone can't see him i cannot wicked and this show is huge there is somewhere a lookout point where i will go and show you how big rural norfolk showground is like I say, it's not all banky there's some real cool stuff here <laughs> Oh, these are good. Hot tubs. Oh, man. These, if you had these during lockdown, you would have sold up and made a fortune because they were one of the biggest sellers during lockdown. It was. Everybody wanted a hot tub. <laughs> they are proper. <laughs> proper hot tubs. Oh, look at that one with its mottled effect. Wow. Oh, mate, look at that. What that Woody? What that? What well, had been a, a Mastiff or a Bull Terrier? This? Uh, yeah. <laughs> With that brindle? I knew I'd see you here, mate. Look at all these skins and things. Oh, yeah, I have got one. You got that one? Look at that. That is awesome. I might get a bell. You got enough bells, mate. How many bells? <laughs> is that your hat? Darling, you lost your hat. <laughs> I so saw some. Did you know? Didn't you know? Lose that? No. Oh. These are nice, Woody. That's like hateful eight, isn't it? These are cheap. These are cheap. <laughs> wow, all these pelts and hats. It does remind me of a scene of Sweet Dave's chair covered in skins. Hateful eight. That's what it reminds me of. How much? They're, they're cheap, then. They Man, are. you just get them off a cow from a field. 60, 60 quid, 70 quid. What, normally 60 quid? So they're cheap. Cheap? How much? Bucket hats, man. <laughs> Wonder where they come from, look. Eight quid each, two for 15. I sell two for a fiver. <laughs> and mine are better. Oh man! Bucket heads. I'm not making it up. Look. <laughs> oh. You can buy a lot of it here. 
Oh, that's your proper hat. Touch shop. Pretend barber jacket. It's like a knockoff shop. <laughs> Find us in store, Regatta. That's all knockoff gear they're selling. It is. Oh. Oh, man. It's proper banky about it. It really is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'll go around in circles. Where, where are we off to next? Now, hang on. Will you take the big coat, BC? For sale. <laughs> For sale, BC. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm not, I'm not coming with you, mate. I'm just filming. I don't know what to film. That's a good idea. Look, she's brought her gate. She get hot. She can just open the gate, mate, and let some air in. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> oh, what's going on there? People walking. What's going on, mate? What is going on? This looks really bizarre. Look, I'm drawn to this bizarreness. I think we need oh. to take part. We, we'll take part. No? Why not? <laughs> Two, four. Oh. Don't know what they're doing. They might be rehearsing for something. I don't get it, look. Can you see all the people? What they're doing. Oh. Oh. I don't know. So you do have all these corporate huts as well. You can sit outside and have a corporate something, all these other corporate tents. It's just about every business representing itself here at the Norfolk Showground today. Even the Norfolk County Council with their e-bikes and e-scooters, <laughs> which you can sign up for, which are usually left in fields or a strewn across pavements across the city of Norwich uh, yes oh man I'm walking in mud don't want the mud oh, hang on I've got a bit corporate in here Gerald's wine bar Gerald's wine bar can I go in? as long as it's in it's alright oh man you can come in oh man it's alright look a bit of corporate a bit of Gerald's you get a proper seat. Hello. Hello. Oh, ladies, you're looking rather well. <laughs> you are. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so what is going on? Here we go, man. Now all we've got to do is the hard work. We have to pull this together. We have to channel all of that. Liking it in here. It's very posh. My name is Sean. Sean's from Radio North. No. I thought you I'm not from Radio North. No, I'm, here. I'm from YouTube. I have been sent here, specially from YouTube, to see you. To see just you two oh. And get you on my blog. Cheers. And what, what, we have two lovely ladies sharing champagne. Uh, no. No? Oh. Prosecco. <laughs> Sam, okay. No worries. Ladies, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. All the best. Au revoir. <laughs> Charming. Wicked. I like the Gerald's corporate heart. Oh, that was lovely, darling. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Oh, where's my gang gone? <laughs> Gotta have, uh, gotta have a bit of fun at the Norfolk Showground. Yeah. Wicked. <laughs> right, where are they? Ha <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty eventful. People having a good day. And all the kids, if you're wondering why there's so many kids here, it's because they get the... Uh, you're the school teachers? Yeah. The children get Wednesday and Thursdays off for the some. some school. And the discretion of the head. 
the question of the headmaster the school's going to get the days off. Okay. So often if it's the school that's involved in the role of the community that take it off, and other schools, other schools want to come, so like well. our school, the whole school comes. But there's a great experience for the kids. It is really yeah. good. Yeah. Cheers darling, thank you. Oh, okay, so the whole school comes of what that school was. Some can, some can't. Yeah, depending on what estate you've been on. Oh man, right, I think we may be getting a little bit peckish. As there's more food. We've got a duck truck. We've got ch chopstick noodles. And we've got fish and chips. The nation's favourite and roast meats. Getting a bit peckish. There's some lovely ladies. These ladies are dressed for the part. <laughs> girls, girls, girls tight buttocks and their lovely white fitting jeans. My oh, mate, you got mega shakes. Are you hungry yet? Oh man, look, you got more pelts, dude. More horns. Good eye, guys. Do you sell this stuff? We don't well. Someone does sell it, but, yeah, just but not yourselves. Yeah. And you sell the pelts, no? No, not today. Okay. Right here, yeah, well, you after some. Yeah, we like covering. We did. We just. We got really bad furniture, so we like putting pelts uh, oh, right. over them. Right. And and um, woolly items. So we feel. Wow. Wool. Have one. Wool. <laughs> have one. You're right. Have one. <laughs> they are wonderful looking things, huh? They are really cool. It is. Ah, okay. So these guys are selling ho holiday cottages and pre-booked safari tours here in the UK. Oh, there's some cooking going on there. Something going on there, look. Everyone's looking. Got them up. The whole lot of the plant is edible and it's absolutely everywhere in the breakfast. Right. But when those shoots come through wow. uh, in the spring. Hello. I look good, you're alright. All I can smell is rosemary. Uh. Or, or does rosemary sell, smell similar to willow herb? It might well do. No. <laughs> Will, might well do. willow herb shoots when they. It does. Hello, mate. You're alright, you good? Yeah. I just bite in me. Yeah. That that just smells of rose, yeah. rosemary in here. It smells. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really good and fresh. No, awesome. Have a good day. You, Cheers, buddy. Thank yeah. you. I just have to bite in. You know, you know that, right? That does smell of rosemary. Oh, awesome smell of rosemary. And you guys know I love the smell of rosemary. This is like the smell of victory. <laughs> it is. Right. At it again. Yeah, go on, my spider. That going for the roast meat. <laughs> I need a selfie. I need an award winning picture. I have found the Pim's teapot. Right here. Oh, I have. And if you want Pim's, you can get a picture for 40 quid. How many pints in a picture, darling? There's only four. Nearly four. So you get less. You want to go to the other places and festivals. It's cheaper. No, I know. Oh, you get to keep the jug. Has it got your Pim's logo and everything on it? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Is it shaped like a teapot? No. No, okay. No worries. It's not another one like that. It's not. But you can get a regular Pim's, a pint for a tenner. But you can. Cheers, darling. Thank you. Which, of course, How's your pims? How is your pims? How is your pims? You're having the pims? All we come here for, for the pims. No, not for me. Not for me. So how is the pims? It's lovely. It's lovely. It's not. So what are you drinking it for? Pims o'clock. Not for me. It's not very alcoholic. Apparently. <laughs> we are Beckles Aerodrome. That looks like a little Nelly. 
Yeah, it's a little bit more, but that's designed off the little Nelly, right? The little James Bond thing. Was it James Bond or Mad Max? It was James Bond. It was. Yeah. Oh man, that is wicked. Do you need a pilot's license to fly it or anything? You just or just uncontrolled aerospace, you can fly that. You still need a pilot's license to be on your own in it. You do. Yeah, you're right. In around here, we've got a lot of airspace that's just up to 400. So we can yeah. Fly anywhere you like. Okay. Because this is under Norwich. Yeah, it's, yeah, okay. It's so, and then you do need a pilot's license. Do, yeah. Okay. Ah, I've only got theories. Got pilot's license, pilot's theory license. That's all I hold. I'm a drone pilot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That's cool. That is cool. If I was stationary here, mate, I would consider buying one of those just for some fun. That is a proper bit of kit, man. That is wicked. That's really cool. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. You Cheers. Too. Thank you. Beckles Aerodrome. That's not far at all from where I live. Well, it's right next to Lowston, right on the Norfolk coast. Right. I'm looking. Hang on. I lost him. I found him. Ooh. We like a bit of this. These type of motors. We do. That's an original. Well, it's not an original. It's a remake of an original. But well, check that out, man. That is proper. That is really cool. But there's a company in Sweden that makes something like that, which are even cooler. So I think they're just a reproduction company making old Morgans. Yes. It's an AC cob. Oh, no, it's a, it is. Chattering. Okay, for Lotus used to make I'm sure Lotus used to make them. They were a thingy of a AC Cobra. Nice looking gear. Nice looking stuff. It's all repro. Oh, oh look at this. <laughs> That's a bit too Tom Cruise for me. That's a bit too. Oh. That's something, isn't it? MV Augusta. Wow. Anyway, guys, something different. Thought I'd share with you. Totally different. What about that? That is what you'd call a Morgan on steroids. <laughs> Would I be right in saying it? We've got Mustang here or something, or an old oh, Dodge. 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 Yeah, Dodge. That's what you beef these that cars mean, up. You do the performance on them. Oh, oh look, that's a standard car. That's standard. That's a hill car. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> they do well on our roads, I bet. <laughs> that is an incredible looking oh, oh, my bill. Wow, and totally standard. I like, I like these bases. Yeah, these... yeah, yeah. Were they built by Lotus or a copy no, they... of AC Cobras? They are K They are. So they're based on, based on the old. Uh, Lotus 7s, yeah. Lotus 7, that is, that's what I, that's made what I thought. Made in Dartford. Yeah. yeah, okay, made in Dartford. Yeah. That is wicked, because you've got Lotus 1 over there and Lotus Colours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. No. Yeah. Oh man, really good to see. You. Cool, cheers buddy. Yeah, thank thank you, you. Cheers, cheers. Ah, oh, wicked. <laughs> right. Aha! All these horses. It's wicked. <laughs> But I want a dead one. <laughs> They're no good to me in this condition. No. They are not. <laughs> I want a dead horse. Don't want a live one. No good to me. Oh man, have a look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Is that a race? <laughs> oh, it's wicked. <laughs> hey, we got a on there. Whoa! <laughs> Jock is in the making. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's really good. <sighs> Dogs. Oh, man, look at them. There's a whole troop of them. <laughs> 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, I know, we do get a troop of dogs, like we get a gaggle of monkeys, and we get a herd of horses. We do. And on that note, I am now leaving the Norfolk Show. It's been a good day. Yeah, this dance is good. Now dance is good. So we are heading. I am still looking for a dead horse. One of these may have died due to the weather or something, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's happy ending time. Oh man, it's turned out nice. It really is. Like I say, Royal Norfolk Show on a hot summer's day. It's a cool place to be. But you've got to dress up. You have. You've got to look the part. It's part and parcel of coming here. I know. Roast meat. You're thinking about it. I was thinking of fish and chips. I don't know. Nice, isn't it? Yeah.